Hi, my name is Trina King, and my father's name is Johnny King. His father, who's my grandfather, is named, his name is James Hebrew King. And this is my niece, Jada Owen. By the way, today is Sunday, June the 5th, 2016. <laughs> my name is Jada Ellis. My mom's name is Therese King Ellis, and my grandfather is Johnny King. Okay, so Jada, I have a couple of questions to ask you regarding um, being in high school right now. Um, what is your your classification in high school, and, and how do you feel about where you are in high school right now? Well, I just finished the 11th grade. It's now about to be summer break, and I'm going to 12th grade, and I'm very excited to go to 12th grade. Are you? Yeah. And why is that? Because I'm really just, like, ready to just, like, call myself a senior so I can be like the top dog of the school and everything. Okay. All right. So I have a um, important question to ask you. Are you employed? As yes. You are? Yes. Okay. So um, if you don't mind sharing with um, your younger cousins and individuals that may be watching, um, where are you employed and why did you think it was necessary to be employed um, as a um, student in high school? Well, I work at McDonald's. It's a McDonald's right across the street from my school. From I'm sorry, from my house. Uh -huh. And I felt like it was very important to be employed because, like I said, I am growing up, and it's time to really act like it and just make sure that I can like get stuff on my own instead of always asking my parents for like different things. So independence is what you're saying. Independence is necessary in your opinion. Yes. And and why is independence necessary, Jada? I think because it's really like a big part of growing up. Uh huh. I think it's like one of the biggest parts, actually. Okay. Just to make sure you can hold your own, because next year, and whenever I'm out of high school, I'm going to college. You are? I am. So which college are you planning to attend, Jada? I'm going to North Carolina A and T. Oh, Aggie Pride! Aggie Pride! Okay, Jada. So I'm very excited about that. So you're going to be attending North Carolina A&T State University, which is located in Greensboro. Yes. Okay, so do you have any ideas of your plans? What are your plans at your majors, as far as your major is concerned? Well, I'm still thinking about it. I'm not really sure right now. Uh-huh. But I'm still thinking. You are? Yes. So I know when we spoke last, you had an idea about you wanted to be in STEM. I know that. Yes. And STEM, basically, for individuals who are not aware what STEM is, STEM has to do with science, technology, engineering, and math. I myself am in STEM. My first um, college degree that I earned was in computer information systems. Again, computer information systems. And so as, a, as an adult, I work in STEM, and I've been in STEM for all of my life, all of my adult life. And so, Jada, you did indicate that STEM was something that you were interested in as well. Yes. Because you were interested in sports medicine, I think it was. Yes. Okay. And so I, I just want to encourage individuals to uh, basically think about the, what they want to accomplish as far as goals are concerned. And what would you say to individuals that are specifically in, in college, those people that are in middle school, um, and um, high school, junior high school rather, on up to high school, what recommendations would you, what recommendation would you give to them? My recommendation is, is just to stay focused. Uh -huh. Basically, stay focused on your grades and what you go to school for, which is to get your grades mm -hmm. and then just like escalate in life. Okay. Okay. So what are your plans? Okay, so you already mentioned what your plans are at the high school. So in conclusion, is there anything that you would say to individuals, um, uh, family members who are maybe in junior high school or high school that may be considering getting a job while they're still in school? Is there anything you would have to say to them on the note of um, perhaps how to manage their time? You want to give them any tips on time management, things of that nature? I think the most important thing is just make sure you balance everything that you have to do. Like, if you come home from work and you know you have a project due, don't procrastinate. Right. Don't. Procrastination is a, is a hindrance and it can be a detriment to anything that we want to accomplish, right, in life. And so, go ahead. It can, like, mess up everything. Like, it can have your grades going from A's to B's very quickly. Right. And so one thing I want to tell you guys is that Jada is phenomenal as it pertains to how she de does with money. She's been this way for years. And by the way, she is my niece. And um, if I haven't already indicated that, but she's very, she does very well with her money. She, she, um, she's a saver. 
And um, she asked, as a matter of fact, you're saving your money towards... Getting the car. <laughs> Jada has a goal to actually um, buy her own transportation. And she was actually on the verge of one. She almost had one a couple days ago. Um, but the young lady, do you know what happened there with that transaction? Um, I think Brittany said that she was just going to like keep it just to like drive around and stuff like that. Yeah. So a young lady um, actually had purchased a car and granddad, her grandfather was actually, who's my father, was going to help her as far as finding a car. Not help her financially, but help her by, you know, looking for the appropriate vehicle. So that is one thing um, I want to say that I'm, I'm very proud of you about. Um, as, as the list grows on of how many things I am proud of you about, but as it pertains to you saving your own money, not asking mom and dad or anyone for any help financially, and you're doing very well in high school, you also play, she also plays basketball. She's been playing uh, basketball for how many years? I would say in school since seventh grade. Yeah, she's been in, in playing basketball since seventh grade in um, school. So I just want to say again, time management is very essential. And um, we just wanted to put this video together. So, Jade, I'm just going to let you wrap it up to talk about, you know, anything that has to do with what we've already referenced. Time management skills, what it feels like, you know, being independent, getting your own things for yourself with your own money. I think just for everybody who's watching, and that's basically like just looking forward to getting a job and everything. I think just make sure you balance your time and you balance all your schoolwork. That's the most important advice that I can give. Well, all right, Jada. Thank you so much for your time. And everyone, I hope that you were, um, when I say everyone, those people that are watching, but specifically those of you, the family members that are in high school, junior high school, and you're considering attending college or considering um, having a, a job while you're in high school, I just, I hope that you were able to glean something from this video. And Jada, baby, I love you, dear. Thank I love you. you too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>